play for the Wizards this afternoon. Someone with his management company says Jordan hasn't made up his mind yet, but don't kid yourself. He is coming back. He just hasn't officially told us so yet. A statement from Jordan outlining his reasons for coming back is still being fine-tuned, and so is his deal with the league. ESPN's David Aldridge says Jordan and the NBA still haven't agreed on who will control his marketing rights when he returns. The NBA says there can't be a special financial agreement for Jordan's marketing if he goes back to being an active player. In honor of what's expected from Michael Jordan, our reporters Mark Schwartz and Ann Werner faxed in their stories, but they took the extra step of reading the stories in the microphones. We begin where basketball fans are full of anticipation and end in the town that thought it had the final claim on Jordan. There was a sighting of a Tar Heel shooting guard this afternoon at the MCI Center in Washington, but it wasn't Michael Jordan, it was Hubert Davis. He was one of several wizards that came into the building to shoot on Monday, however, none of the players would stop as they left the building or even lower their windows to speak with the media, which was assembled outside. About three o'clock Eastern time, with great anticipation, we were all ushered into this media room for what we expected to be an announcement, Michael Jordan's possible return. No announcement. It could come tomorrow. We know what we're doing. We're gonna be back here for the same drill at the MCI Center, waiting to find out if on Tuesday, Michael Jordan will make it his future home. Reporting from Washington, D.C., I'm Mark Schwartz, ESPN. Here at Hoops Gym in Chicago, it was a game of watching and waiting on Monday, as Michael Jordan did not drop by, as expected, to work out with some of his usual practice partners. Former Bulls teammate Ron Harper was here. So was current Wizards rookie Bobby Simmons. Juwan Howard, who Jordan traded from Washington to Dallas. Michael Finley of the Mavericks. And Mike King, who played on the Wizards Summer League team. King said it would be different to see Jordan in an NBA jersey other than the Chicago Bulls. Having lived in Chicago and been a part of all the championships, watching on TV, it will be something. But he's got to do what he's got to do. Coincidentally, by mid-afternoon, after a wire story crossed that said Jordan's announcement would be delayed, the players started leaving. Then the owner of Hoops Gym came out to tell the media, there's not much happening. You just might want to come back tomorrow. So the waiting and watching game continues. In Chicago, Ann Werner, ESPN. All right, Ann, thanks. David Aldridge is with us now. Now, Michael would be coming back for love of game, but the holdup does seem to be about money. Uh, let's not make him out to be any greedier than the rest of us. He'd be coming in at a relatively short price. It has more to do with what his deal would be with the league, right, David? Yeah, apparently when he retired, he has an, uh, an agreement, or the league got an agreement with him, fairly exclusive agreement to market his likeness. This is something that we've seen before. In 92, members of the Olympic team had a problem. They, they had a group licensing agreement, uh, and the league had a, w another agreement. They haggled over this for a while, and they came up with it. I don't think this is a deal breaker by any means, Kenny. I think this will get done in the next day or two, but for right now, they're, they're arguing about whether or not he once has to give up that agreement if he goes back to being an active player. All right, coming back to be an active player, he had a couple injuries, I believe, to the ribs and also a hamstring. Is he healed? Is, is he well enough to, to get go right from the start, which is a week from today, right? Right, right, a week from today. And, uh, yeah, I think he is. Um, from all indications, he went through his last set of workouts in Chicago without any physical problems, although, there, you know, recovery at, at his age, and for someone who hasn't played in three years, uh, recovery after games may be an issue. But physically, all of the ailments seem to be okay. We're talking about his announcement likely coming, you know, simply like just through a fax. Is this going to be a reasonable facsimile? Why is he doing this? Well, I, I think I think a lot of people make way too much out of this. Is it about, you know, making the value of his team greater? Is he doesn't like the players today? I, I, I think he likes to play basketball, Kenny. I mean, I think it's as simple as that. I think he loves to play. He loves to compete. He loves to win. He is the most competitive guy I've ever met. And uh, this is what he does better than anything else he does. And so I think that he wants to get back to that and try it. I don't think he's under the, any illusions that he's going to win a championship with the Wizards. I think that he wants to play and compete. I think he will be disappointed once he realizes that his team is not going to be able to compete at an elite level like he's used to. All right, David, thank you very much. I'm sure you'll have a swell time covering him once more. <laughs> David Aldridge, our NBA guy. Lots more on Jordan later in the show.